I got something new to take a look at today, and I haven't opened this yet. I've seen some previews of it. I don't have a knife. Yes, I do. Let's see what's in the box. That's easy enough to get out. I'm pretty excited about this from the uh, preview that I've seen. I haven't seen one on the internet yet, except on their website, but I really like the looks of this thing. The reason is, let me, let me just dig this apart. I hate to watch people fiddle with stuff that they don't know how to operate. This is pretty easy. I didn't look at the instructions, but you squeeze these and this comes apart. And that's it. You This is the whole harness. And boom, it's on. Now, what I liked about it from the preview, this just like a GoPro, this has a, a little locking mechanism to lock it in place once you get it where you want it. And this will go in from the top or from the bottom. Now, what I like about that, I've got a magnet mount, chest mount that I like but I can only really run the, the camera with the camera hanging down. If I try to put the camera to where I can actually flip it out and look at the screen, it's bottom heavy, and the whole thing wants to tip away from my chest, and then I can't make it look forward or up. Instant camera. With this mount, I'll be able to tilt the camera down if I choose to do that or make it level. I haven't got this locked in. Get that out of the way make it level or I can turn it the other way it's the other way and I can make it look up or level so it's your choice and with these shoulder straps and everything else it's going to be secure enough it's going to hold the position that you're trying to to photograph what I like about being able to look down most of the things I'm going to do are are in that orientation now, if you're riding a mountain bike or something like that where you're you're already leaned over, you're going to want to mount this on the top, and that way the camera, as you're leaned over, is still looking forward. I'm going to be fishing and doing stuff like that. We're back the other way. So I'm going to be standing up, and I'm going to be either looking forward or wanting to look down at whatever I'm doing with my hands, the fish, pulling the fish out of the water, things like that. It just so happened the harness happens to be set perfect for me out of the box. But I'm going to show you something real quick. Battery doors on this side. I like to have this screw opposite the battery door. It just makes the battery door easier to reach. If this is your first GoPro, you might not have figured that out yet. When you mount this, the camera is either going to be lower than the center of the mount or higher. In the center of the mount. If you put the screw in, poof, the screw's in the other way. All right, so now if you do it this way, here's the center of the mount, and the center of the mount, the camera doesn't really change, the lens changes from one side to the other, but it makes the battery door a little fiddly to get into. You can still get into it, depending on what, you know, you may have to tighten the knob a little more or a little less, but you can still get into the battery door. I just like it the other way, and then it gives you a little bit of flexibility on the height of the camera that way. Also, if you need the camera to be exactly in the middle, you're going to want this on the battery door side. If you put it to the other side, it's on the other side again. Now you've got the ease with this on this side of opening the battery door much easier, less fiddly, and you've got a, a little more latitude on the height of the camera. It matters. To me, that's super flexible. I'm going to try, if the weather holds out, to get some actual footage with this this evening. Hopefully, there will be something right after this. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick look at how this thing looks on this part. Just plug, and this is very easy to put on, even for an old guy like me. This just pushes in right here, and that's it. And it's it's really secure. And if you just accidentally hit the bottom or just accidentally hit the top, it doesn't pop out. And there's kind of a guard there. You have to actually, with purpose, squeeze on these. Then they come off, and then you're you're out of it. With this thing, and as a, as a plus, it gives me a place for my microphone. It's windy, so I'm using a dead cat and my iPhone to record this part of it. You can see. I mean, it'll it'll turn so far that it's looking back straight at me or out completely level like this. Now, if I pull out the safety, squeeze these, flip it over, 
push it back in, push the safety back down. Now I'm straight forward. I can't go down any further than, than straight forward in this position, but it can come all the way up to looking back onto itself. Very, very versatile. For my kind of stuff, if you're, as an example, if you're riding a mountain bike where you're leaned over, you can tilt this and then you're still looking forward. For me doing the fishing stuff, I think you could go with a, a linear lens and tilt this down some and get a nicer view than, than the big fish eye with the super view. That's just a, a thought in my head now because I haven't tried this yet. But personally for me, I like to record in 4.3 or if you have the, the, uh, the GoPro Hero 11, the, what is it, 5.7, then it gives you a larger field of view. I don't like to record in 16.9 unless I just, for convenience sake, and I know exactly what I want in there. But if you do the 5.7 or the 4.3, it gives you a little extra room and then you can crop whatever you don't need, whichever way you don't need it. 4.3 highest resolution your frame rate that's up to you for whatever you're doing but i'm going to show you a couple of little fishing clips just the short version if you like fishing videos i'm going to post the actual fishing video on my david does stuff it's if you just go to at david does stuff you'll see it on there the fishing video this isn't what this is about but i want to show you some of how this works in action. So let's go to that. I am headed back to the water to see if we can uh, wake up a fish. I'm going to use this bubblegum zoom worm and see what it does today. And just for anybody that's interested, I'm using the Teleson remote to do all of my recording. If anybody's interested in that, let me know. I'll make a short video on it. See what happens. Still casting into the wind. Well, there's one. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Come on. <laughs> Man, what a cluster of grass. And he's still in there. All right. I'll take it. That was certainly different. I don't know. Maybe two pounds? See you later, buddy. All right. Man, there must be a heck of a bed of grass going out there. Come on in. All right, here he comes. Come on, little buddy. All right. Well, that's not too bad. I'm not going to the rocks. There you go. I was very happy with the way that chest mount performed. I'll throw a link to it in the description if you want to take a look at it. Uh, I need to work on the angle thing. I didn't quite have that right, but you know, that's trial and error. Anyway, if anybody's interested in the fishing videos, that's going to be up on my other channel in a day or two. That's just the way my life is right now. So, um, bear with me. I get that up as quick as I can. I appreciate anybody that's still here and whether that mounts for you or not, I'll let you decide. I'm happy with it. I'm going to throw a couple other videos up over here and I'll catch you in one of those or I'll catch you down the road. Appreciate it.